Go on, Andy. Good start of the Barossa. Run out of fuel. <laughs> I'd like to note, I was not driving either. I've never run out of fuel. Right, eh? Well, you're that guy that won Master Chef. I love it. Oh, Bluey! Oh! Far out. That was close, eh? How's that? Blue Tongue lives in the middle of the road. Just having a bake. Start to the day. No petrol? And my shirt's wrong colour. What would you what would you prefer? Grey? A darker shirt or it's up to you. Probably a probably a darker shirt. Darker shirt, yeah, okay. Less no worries. Is that alright, mate? Yeah. We can just go for it from there. You can just walk that way. Yep. But don't oh, that looks sick. But don't I wanna be like don't I wanna be starting like that and then turn like that? Oh, Drone life. I couldn't come to the Barossa without visiting one of the biggest and best in the business, Jacob's Creek. Now, not only do they make wonderful wine, but for me, it's more about where they came from and the story behind it. Looks like I'm going to have a terrible time doing it. So that's the creek, hey. That's Jacob's Creek. Yep, just flowing. Man, river wild. <laughs> I'm not going out over there, hey. I'm stuck. I'm fully stuck. <laughs> the old bunnies, mate. It's 10.05, we're about to Sample our first Shiraz. Boys, let us know why we're we here and what are we doing. Well, this is the heritage vineyard for Jacobs Creek. And of course, Bross is really well known for its Shiraz. So it just seemed like a really good place to start. Um, we've got some, some 35 year old vines that are really hitting their straps at the moment and making some great wine. Yeah. Is that when they're sort of getting their peak? Because I've noticed these, these big boys around. Yeah, look, there's, there's vines in the Barossa that are 150 years old and they produce some pretty spectacular wines. Yeah. So. Well, I reckon we have a sample, because I'm no wine buff, so you guys can tell me what I should be looking for and what's going on in this glass. First thing you really want to look at is the colour. We're seeing some really nice vibrant red and purple colours coming through. You want to have a bit of a smell, yep. um, see the, some of the aromas coming through. Don't Should... tell me, because I'm going to have a crack, so <laughs> don't tell me it. what I'm looking for. I'll make an absolute fool of myself, I guarantee. And the swirl. Tell me about the swirl, because oh. is this legit? Like, is that actually doing... Help? It's more than just a nervous tick, I think. Yeah. You're trying to get some of those aroma compounds to come out of the wine and into the glass. I'm going to go out on limit. Is there, like, a few chocolate notes in there? Definitely. That's a, a definite regional characteristic of the Barossa. Chocolate, cinnamon and spice. Something that I want to learn about is blending. I think it's getting a lot more common these days, and I don't know much about it, how, you know, water, cab sab, Shiraz is. So I think we'll take a walk and maybe get into some blending. For sure. Sounds good. OK, so we've tasted some Shiraz from the vineyard just behind us here, the Heritage Vineyard. And yep. I've got some uh, Cabernet from just down on the, uh, the highway there, so we can sort of look at the two wines yep. and see what the Barossa can do. So you're telling me it's basically as easy as the old flask over there, putting a bit of one in and a bit of another in yeah, until you get a really nice flavour. It's pretty advanced technology here. Yeah, we right. use the old chemistry set from high school. Yeah. We look at the different ratios of the varietals and, and different blocks and regions if we're doing a regional blend. So when I see a bottle with eight different types of grape variety on there, does someone have the best palate in the world to be able to <laughs> blend that together? They just know what works for them and what works is their house style. Yeah, okay, right. How about we do a blend? Um, right. Good starting point, so let's go 50-50. See what you think. Right Using my high school chemistry skills. <laughs> Give it a good mix to make sure they're all mixed up well. It's pretty much exactly what you said, hey? Yeah, so it really gives it that length. Length, yeah. yeah. And 50-50, is that kind of a standard blend? Or? Look, you no. can do what you want. With Shiraz Cabernet, they can support each other in all sorts of different ways. Whatever works for your Can we do one that's 70 cab? Absolutely, yep. Shiraz. Yep, give it some nice drive. Let's see how your blend turns out. 
to be good. You're gonna be better than mine? There's no wrong blend, that's nah, what absolutely. you were meant to tell me. Exactly, no wrong <laughs> blend at all. It's what you, what you like, what you think your consumers would like. Oh, it's on the money. Yeah, you've done a great job. <laughs> so you can do it at home? Absolutely, grab your two favourite wines, Shiraz and a cab, and give it a crack. <laughs>